What's going on? This is Ron Carter, and you're listening to Lead, Sell, and Scale. This podcast is really just an accumulation of my entire journey when it comes to making money online. I think I start off in the very first episode of the first season talking about selling products on Shopify and then quickly move into affiliate marketing, which is where I made my first sales, and then insights that I learned as a coach and uh, really just documenting the whole journey. So I don't really sell anything on this podcast. If I do talk about links in some of the older episodes, they no longer work. Just letting you know that right up front. Uh, If you do want to check out some free training on what I help my clients do, you can always go to therealroncarter.com. But other than that, let's get right into the episode. What's up, everyone? You are listening to Ecom Billionaires Podcast, and I'm your host, Ron Carter. Super stoked to have you listening today. Today, really, I wanted to cover uh, what you are uncomfortable with in your life. What is going on in your life right now that you are just totally not cool with? What is the thing that you are trying to change? What is the thing that you, you're aspiring to leave behind on your journey? And are you using that for motivation to move forward in your business? That's today's million dollar question. We're going to be covering it in the episode. I'm going to be giving you guys a few examples of my fuel, of what fuels me on a daily basis. And I'm talking about fuel other than the results that I'm achieving or the results that that I'm striving to achieve for others. I mean, fuel from, from my life that I was experiencing before even starting all this and how I use it as a daily reminder to keep grinding no matter what. Cue the intro, let's get it. What's up everyone, I'm Ron Carter and I'm part of an underground movement of entrepreneurs who pride ourselves in giving value over making the sale. We put our message out to the world and let the people we can help come to us. We keep our nose to the grindstone because we know that every piece of content we publish is like a beacon of hope for the people we aim to serve. Unlike traditional marketers, we don't build complicated systems or funnels for the main objective of getting the sale or cheat by starting off with big piles of venture capital cash. Instead, we provide value, solve problems, build relationships, and most importantly, we empower others to do the same. We focus on contributing rather than converting. We're not in this game just to make money, but to make a difference. We build lifelong fans who we can serve over and over again. You're listening to Ecom Billionaires Podcast, and we are future billionaires. So what are you striving to leave behind? And Normally, people don't talk about stuff like this. It's all this positive stuff. Like, what are you trying to achieve and who are you trying to help? And, but like, let's be real. A lot of us are starting off in painful situations. And that's why we're even starting a business to begin with. We have, you know, some sort of problem or struggle that, that we're going through. And then we figure out a solution or a way to move forward through that for us. And then we start to help others with that as well. So it's really important to really deeply understand your own pain points, your own your own internal suffering that caused you to make this move. Um, it's, it's really important. And I'm gonna give you guys a few examples um, of, of some of mine. And I wanted to bring this up because, you know, they're ongoing. They're not, it's not just like completely solved yet for me. And um, one of them is, is, is like freedom. And I mean like freedom from like a work schedule. I like, like, I've learned that I work the best between like the hours of 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Like even later, let's be, let's be honest. I'm not talking about just working. Like I go to a job and I can work really good. But I mean like on anything that I'm doing. I mean, if I'm like working on a project, if I'm building funnels, if I'm writing emails, like, if I'm working between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., and sometimes I get a second wind at like 9 p.m. at night. Um, but right now, you know, my day job is between 7 and 
which means that every day that I go to work, I only get a few hours of, of time to work on, on my business. As soon as I get off, that's like in that optimal time zone. And usually by then I'm really tired because I'm waking up way earlier than 10 o'clock um, to, get, to get to work. And so I wanted freedom in my life. I wanted freedom in my schedule. But what I also wanted was just my own time. And it seems kind of crazy because it, right now it feels like I don't ever have any of that because I'm building a business, I'm partnered in another one, and I'm working a full-time job. And I also have uh, a, a few freelance projects at the same time. There is no free time. So, sorry about the noise. It's important for us to remember why we started because it's really easy to get sidetracked in helping other people get results. I mean, it's, that's not being sidetracked. That's actually focusing on moving your business forward. But what's the point if we're not achieving our own desires and our own goals, right? Like by us, in, like interweaving our own desires and our own our own goals, trying to solve our own pain points, we're actually going to be able to serve our customers at a higher level. We're actually going to be able to serve our audience and our people better. Like when I'm when I'm not just worn out and like operating off four hours of sleep every day, um, I tend to work a lot better. It's funny because last Saturday I was working on uh, this client funnel, and Friday night I actually got like eight hours of sleep which was just uh, so amazing. Um, I forgot what that was like. And, um, and Saturday I was fresh and I was, I was like on fire. The snaps were firing, I was going. I got a lot of work done. And I even recorded some videos and somebody commented on one of my videos and said, looks like you've been getting some rest. And I'm like, yeah, actually I have. But that let me know that over the last couple of days, week or however long they were watching my other content, that that's when it didn't look like that. If, if they're saying on Saturday that it looks like I've been getting rest, that means on Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, that I probably looked like I wasn't because I wasn't. And um, I wasn't getting rest. I was staying up till like midnight working on stuff and then waking up, you know, staying up till midnight, you know, and then like winding down at midnight, eating something, going to bed by 1 a.m., waking up at 5 a.m and then going to go work a physical job all day. And uh, just to kind of spice that up a little bit, one of the things that I'm really striving to like get past is this day job. I know it pays the bills right now, but um, I don't know. I don't want to get into complaining about work. Um, I'll just say, I'll just say a few things to kind of sum it up so I'm not ranting about it. Overworked, underpaid. <laughs> that, that's, that's, all, that's all I'll say about it. Um, anybody working a minimum wage or near minimum wage physical job where the tasks just keep getting stacked on and, uh, and no one, you know, okay, I'm not gonna start complaining about work, right? So, Anybody who's in that situation understands. Um, But I wanted to talk about this on this podcast because honestly, yesterday was a trying day. Some of our coworkers are on vacation and there's only a couple of us delivering the linen in this hospital that I work at. And like, it's been like trying, like missing breaks to get work done and then not getting recognized for it. And then when you say something about it, you actually get in trouble because you skipped a break. But it's like, if I don't skip the break, then the work's not going to get done. And I'm in trouble because it's not done by 3.30. But um, but then again, we're doing like three people's jobs every day. So it's like, how do you expect to get it all done? And after having some experience with business and knowing about productivity and profits and losses, I'm like, this is totally inefficient. Like... Um, but I'm just using it. I'm, I'm actually using it instead of to complain and to feel bad. I'm just taking a mental note of how, how this all works because I'm realizing that this is a business that I work for too, you know? And um, it, it's showing me that the energy in your company or in your business, it comes from the top down. 
So if you want your employees to be happy to do work for you, you have to act like you're happy that they're working for you. You have to express that to them. That's what I'm learning. Uh -uh. I'm basically learning how to run my business by watching, um, by watching <laughs> another one and saying, okay, I don't want to do that. Um, and uh, I'm just taking mental notes as I move forward. And you know, there's another uh, another way I could look at the situation. I, I could just look at it like, oh, this sucks, and I know how business should operate, and and even when I make suggestions, they don't listen, and blah blah blah. I could do all that, but what is that going to get me? Where is that going to get me? All it's going to do is help me keep feeling this way, right? So what I could do is make a mental note and say, okay, when somebody goes above and beyond and does something extra for me, I need to make sure that I, or me or my business, or or even just their position and their job and what you know what they're doing. I need to make sure that I go out of my way to say thank you and let them know that I'm appreciative. That's it. Like that's that's gonna go miles because I know for a fact that I wouldn't. <laughs> I probably wouldn't even feel some kind of way about doing all kinds of extra like extra work that's almost not even doable in the time that they allow us to do it in. Um, if we just got thank yous for it, right? It's it's so important. Treat your your people like they're doing you favors by working for you. Because if you're if you're a supervisor of anybody, you work for them. Your job is to keep them happy so that they stay productive with the system that you've given them to work in. So that's something that I've learned, even though I'm not in a supervisory role here. I can tell just by uh, observing. So I think that's pretty much it for the episode today. I kind of—it's kind of like a tangent. I'm just kind of sharing my thoughts, documenting my experience. Um, you know, sometimes I like to like drop tips, uh, share stuff that I'm testing. This is just me sharing my thoughts of my current moment. And I know this podcast episode, this episode right here, this specific one. <laughs> this is going to be one that I'm laughing at years down the road. But I'm like, listen to how upset I was about my job. Holy shit. And like, little did I know that I was however much time away from never having to work as an employee again. Um, yeah. So I'm excited for that day. The day that I can look back on this, on this episode and, and I'm no longer an employee. I no longer have a W-2 uh, yeah, I'm excited for that day. And I have a gut feeling that it's not too far away. Keep grinding, keep hustling, whatever you're doing. Keep moving forward with your business. Take care. Thanks for listening to today's episode. Super stoked to have you actually listening to the podcast, consuming this stuff. I hope it's giving you a ton of value. Uh, make sure that you tune in for tomorrow's episode. Tomorrow's episode, I'm actually going to be covering the difference between getting a lot of leads, like going after like a huge quantity of leads or quality of leads, trying to find those perfect customers instead of just trying to get everybody, trying to find the perfect one and uh, and working with them to get them the best results possible. So I'm gonna go over the difference between quantity and quality and what I recommend that you go after. And there's a little caveat in there. There's a little, a little twist. It's not just one or the other, but I'm not gonna give you the answer now. Make sure you check out tomorrow's episode. Uh, thanks for listening. Once again, super stoked to have you here, part of the family. Uh, we're growing together, we're doing this. So just keep moving forward. Love that you're listening. And remember, your success is my success. Let's get it. <laughs>